Yeah, I think there's a lot of Pokemon games that kind of like uh, one will be more. How do I want to say this? Like, there are some Pokemon games that will drastically move the franchise forward or move the engine okay. forward, and then there's and then once that's been established, uh, the next few games will then like kind of add on to uh, the style or the appearance or the aesthetic of the the engine. I feel like we see a back and forth with this a lot, and right now I think we're really just in that like kind of muddy, uh, you know. Yeah, I, I think we're in one step, and I think it's going to look better in future games. Like whenever the remake yeah. comes out, or whatever the next game is going to be, I think they'll have they'll have the resources to then like kind of lean into making that game a little bit more defined. I um, agree. the The issue with that is though, like, there's the argument of okay, so they perfect it for the next game, whether that's you know Legends Unova, Black and White Three, XG, Legends Celebi, whatever. Yeah, they perfect it for that game. The issue is if we follow past patterns, which can always be broken, but and I, I think we're even like planning on discussing this later. But um, uh, if not in this episode, then in its own episode. But like, there's there's rumors of a Switch Two coming, yeah. and hypothetically, Pokemon's next gen, Gen Ten, would debut on the Switch Two, which means it's going to be on new hardware. So I don't want them to improve for you know just Legends Unova, and then we go right back down with Gen Ten. You know? Yeah, we've been having this conversation on Twitter actually a lot with some of my friends. Like, and I think Lumi, you've been around in it, but just like the main issue with Pokemon, I think right now is that they are always trying to innovate on like the next game, and they just kind of throw away the stuff that they just did. Yeah, like, yeah, and they don't change this. Like exactly what you said, Dusty. Like you got me super excited a second ago when you were like the next game's gonna be like probably a perfected version of of what we, i, I really didn't want i don't think it's perfected no that's you know your what point I mean. but yeah, yeah. Polished. you know what i mean i mean yeah polished like for a remake especially it probably just be like you know whatever remake we're gonna get it's gonna be like this great game i could totally see that happening and then just like lumi said it's like we're we are going to a new system really soon here yeah, yeah. and not only that it's a new generation or whatever so we're gonna or they're gonna try to push idea. it even further yeah right. there they're can be a change in art style again too they often change arts i mean the art style between x and y to sun and moon to sword and shield to scarlet and violet it changes each time so then then also have to adapt to a new art style yeah but even I like i i guess i think of in gen 4 right Diamond and Pearl, when those came out, I mean, at least looking back, they're so unfinished. But then Heart Gold, Soul Silver, it's a completely different game. It actually has a different like color palette. It feels like, even though it's the same engine, it feels more vibrant. It does, and it also feels more finished. Um, mm -hmm. So I, that's kind of how I, it's happened in in different degrees throughout the throughout the the franchise. And I guess that's kind of what I'm honing into as an example. Um, yeah. But you're right. It you're totally right. Sense. When the Switch comes out, yeah, I, I think when there's a Switch 2, um, you know, all you know, who knows, right? It's gonna be like black and white, or, or black two white two, and then the year after X one Y comes out on the 3DS, yeah. and it's a completely <laughs> different engine. Yeah, so that's kind of crazy. It really depends how much the Switch 2 is like different as well. 